Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are look at, looking today at reading tables with data in them, making some conclusions and analysis based on data that is inside of tables. Let's go ahead and take a look at this table. This table has a movie preference for males and females. It has a movie preference of romance versus action, and you see the numbers that are in there. What are some conclusions that we can come to based on this table? Well, one conclusion you could say is more girls like romance. The problem with coming to a conclusion like this is that it's kind of a bad observation or it's an observation stated in a poor way. What's a better way to state what is happening here between the, the preference of romance? Um, we could say 10 times more females prefer romance movies than males. That would be a better way to state this. You can state this because there's the same number of men and women interviewed in this. There are 32 females and 32 males interviewed in this um, movie preference. Okay. If there was a different number, and I'll show you that in, in another table, you can't say that quite as um, emphatically. But in this case, there are 32 and 32. That's fine. 10 times more females prefer romance movies than males. All right. Let's look at um, superhero preference. Superman, Batman v Superman. What are some conclusions you could come to? Let's do another um, bad conclusion based off this. You could just say Superman rules. Look at that. Superman has 50 and Batman only has 47. Why is this a bad observation? There's a couple of reasons why this would be a bad observation, or in other words, a, an observation that's in a, kind of stating it in a poor way. Um, well, first off, more people who were older than 15 preferred Superman, and more people that were older than 15 were asked, right? There's 52 people being asked um, that were older than 15 and only 45 that were under 15. Um, if you were looking at it really critically, you'd say, why is 15 the, the cutoff line? What does all of the data say? Um, and that would sort of help us um, kind of break it down a little bit more. Um, but let's take a look at this for a second. What can we say based on this? Okay, You could say, of the people who preferred Superman, there were four times as many that were older than 15 than under 15. All right, that's a piece of, uh, of information we could come to, a conclusion that we could make that is based on the data that we have there. Okay, let's look at one more, a sports preference, volleyball versus basketball, male and female. What are some conclusions? Now, these conclusions that I'm going to put in here are more like the, um, the options that you would have on a Common Core test, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at some conclusions stated in a very kind of robotic way. A randomly chosen person from the survey who likes basketball is just as likely to be male or female. What does that mean? It means there's the same number of males and females picking basketball. Notice that the male, female, both of them are 30. Um, 30 people picked basketball, 30 people picked basketball, male, female. So if you randomly picked a person who liked basketball, it's just as likely to be male as it is to be female. Okay, it's a complicated way of saying the male and female, the same number of male and female chose basketball. Okay, um, you could also say more than two times the number of females preferred volleyball. Right, females that chose volleyball were more than twice as many as chose basketball. That is a valid conclusion you could come to from this. Um, there were more females asked than males, so and a, quite a few more. So you can't make a lot of comparisons of males to females in general unless you narrow it just to the basketball because we know they were the same amount asked. All right. So it's difficult to make conclusions on data that is different from one thing to another. Often this is called comparing apples to oranges. Um, so we can't do a whole comparison of men to, to women, but what we can do is we can compare just the basketball men to women, 
or we could compare women to women volleyball basketball or male basketball volleyball and say the, the men surveyed chose almost as many chose the same amount of basketball versus volleyball you could sort of make a conclusion there as well all right so that's just a little bit about reading tables this is a special kind of table that has two pieces of data with two groups all sort of being surveyed about the same thing a special kind of of table that you can make some conclusions based off hope that this lesson was helpful for you here is your common core anchor and your pennsylvania eligible content have a wonderful day.